Hey everybody, this is Lou with Lou Elson Real Estate, TR McKenzie. Um, today we're going to highlight a brand new CrossFit gym, uh, Nick and uh, CrossFit Dendaz. Nick helped me shed 70 pounds back in 2019 and keep the weight off and uh, just really appreciate everything he's done for me so I figured we'd check out his new gym. It's my personal trainer Nick. How's it going? Nick, you want to give us a little tour of the gym? Absolutely. So you walk in the front doors here, come in, get a big overview of the gym. Uh, we have two bathrooms over on the left hand side there, bathroom one, bathroom two. Kind of have all our cardio equipment over here. So we have our exercise bikes, uh, we have our concept two rowers. Uh, so a lot of warm ups are done in this area, a lot of mobility. Uh, one thing that is exciting about this facility is we have the ability to build it from the ground up. So it was from scratch. So kind of myself and uh, the Madison Pole Vault Club over there, Pete, kind of came up with the concept for how we wanted the gym to look. Uh, and the turf is actually utilized quite a bit. So dynamic running warm ups, uh, all your mobility and stretching before and after class. So it's been really nice. Over here we have all of our dumbbells, kettlebells, medicine balls, We're doing various exercises uh, with those on a daily basis. And then we come up to the rack here, right? This is probably my favorite part of the gym. There's a lot of racks available. Uh, this is one of my favorites. Uh, always was a big fan of the monkey bars as a kid. I know I get to do it as an adult every morning. Uh, starts off at nine feet, goes to 15, and then back down to nine. So it's great for challenging adults and kids alike, just something a little different outside of the norm. Uh, aside from that, the functionality of the rig, you can have six people working out at one time. Uh, do a lot of kids and teens classes as well as adults, but the teens is great because you can partner them up and have a nice class of 12 kids going on at once. Got some climbing ropes right here uh, from the floor to the ceiling. You have a 20 foot climb, so that'll challenge anybody. Uh, got some gymnastics rings here for doing gymnastics movements. Some more weight plates over here. And then one of my favorite parts about the gym is the garage doors. So on beautiful days like today. Nice. You can open up the door. And that lends itself nicely to running around the building. And you get a nice view of a little pond back there. Good way to start the day. Absolutely. And that's pretty much the tour of CrossFit Dendas. So Nick, every, every CrossFit trainer has a unique perspective and training methodology. What are some of your approaches to CrossFit training and fitness? Yeah, good question, Lou. Uh, I think probably the main thing that drives uh, my theory is have fun and stay fit, right? That's a phrase that I always like to say, right? Because when you work out, the main thing that's going to keep you going and consistent with it is having fun, right? So if we're not having fun, why are we doing it? So whether that's young kids all the way to adults, I want to make sure that it's something that is enjoyable for them. Uh, given every exercise routine that you do, you're not going to like it every day, but if we can incorporate things you like into your training routine, you're a lot likely, a lot more likely to sustain that. Uh, to give you an example, uh, I've been working with Lou for a while. I know that Lou likes to run and he likes longer style workouts, right? So when I'm planning for Lou, I want to get some running in there and I'm just trying to keep that heart rate intensity, keep Lou going and, and having fun. So I'd say having fun and staying fit, those are uh, the main things I like to think about. Awesome. awesome. So Nick, what are some workout routines or, or training techniques that you find most effective? Yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, strict strength. And by that I mean sticking to the basics first and then getting you know elaborate after that. So I like to stick to when we're starting out push-ups, pull-ups, um, sit-ups. Those are the main three things I like us to get going. Uh, a lot of people when they get started can be overwhelmed, right? So if you're starting out a routine and we're working on getting you really good form with those push-ups and those pull-ups, that's good strict strength that's gonna translate to everything else that you do. So I've had a lot of great success, especially working with the kids and teen athletes before I even give them a barbell, right? Making sure that we're in those proper body positions and that they have the foundational strength to go forward. Awesome. So Nick, aside from helping me lose 70 pounds, which I appreciate by the way, yep. What's an example of a, another client that you helped in a weight loss journey or a, achieving a goal? Yeah, so I've had the opportunity to work with a wide variety of people and I can say uh, kind of the idea for CrossFit Dendas started with family fitness, which was the first business that I had. And my whole goal was getting families to work out with one another, right? So let's say you have a family, you got your mom, dad, 
uh, little Timmy, and then Sue Ann, right? You guys are all working out together, having a routine, and I've worked with quite a few families. I couldn't pinpoint just one, but it's a really rewarding experience, especially if the mom and dad haven't had workouts before or they're not familiar with it. Right. Giving that family the tools uh, to do those on their own and then foster that positive relationship with fitness for uh, the younger kids. So um, just working with families and uh, helping them uh, get off on the right foot. Thanks, Nick. Really yep. appreciate it. Um, is there any other things you can think to add to this segment or anything you want to share? Uh, community. So a big thing behind CrossFit is the community. So what we're doing here at CrossFit Dendas is every other Sunday, so two Sundays a month, we host free community workouts. So that's free to anybody in the area. You can come, bring a friend, come by yourself, and kind of see what CrossFit is all about. On those Sundays, we do our what are called hero workouts. Uh, in the CrossFit community, a hero workout is a workout dedicated to a service member that has passed away. So it could be a firefighter, EMT, somebody served in the military, um, and then you just remember them when you're doing that workout. And afterwards, you can kind of all hang out and um, just remember the lives of those people that you celebrated during that workout. And then it's also a great opportunity for people to see what CrossFit is all about. Those hero workouts are pretty hard, and we provide plenty of scaling options, right? So let's say you can't do a push-up. Well, you can do a push-up with your hands on an elevated surface, or you can do push-ups on your knees. Uh, let's say you can't do 30 cleaning jerks at whatever weight is prescribed that day. Well, we can take a broomstick or a PVC pipe and make sure you have the right technique and you're still getting a good workout. So community, right? Come on down and see what it's all about. That's awesome. What, what's the best way to, to get in contact with you, Nick, or to, to come and schedule a workout? Yeah, so we're on all socials. Our website, uh, CrossFit Dendas. We're also on Facebook, CrossFit Dendas, and then Instagram, CrossFit Dendas. So all three of those are uh, great. Uh, best way to reach me, though, is Coach Nick at CrossFit Dendas. Awesome, awesome. Well, I look forward to coming here again soon and uh, working out with you, man. Awesome, can't wait. Yeah, thanks for the time, and this is Lou. We'll talk to you soon.